Welcome to Kitchen Chat, everyone. This is Margaret McSweeney, and I'm going live here in Chicago with the world premiere of Jackie and Me. Please check it out. It ends March 27th, a great, great celebration of Jackie Robinson's life. And here to celebrate this wonderful occasion is former host outfielder, Doug Glanville. Welcome to Kitchen Chat. Absolutely, great to be here. Thank yes. you. Yes, and tell us what your thoughts were about this. this play. No, I, I mean, I, I loved it. I really did. I mean, I know a lot about Jackie Robinson. My son's middle name is Robinson, so we, uh, it's really close to our family. I've always been to his history and, and the amazing work he did just to survive this uh, difficult first, you know, basically breaking in you know, the color barrier in baseball. So, so it's very personal. But I loved how they creatively found a way to talk about how he controlled himself and figure out how to be strong and internalizing things and finding ways to be more because there's such a greater cause at stake. So, you know, really, um, cap you know, captured it well. It's a fantastic place. So I highly recommend checking it out. Yes, yes, definitely. And also, check out Doug's new book. Tell us a little bit about your book. Well, um, I, I, I had a column running with the New York Times called uh, Heading Home. And it was sort of after I retired, I was talking about that transition into the next you know, life after the game. And, and um, you know, it was going pretty well. I started to hear comments about, like, well, maybe you should think about writing a book. And it's a very human column about what players really deal with, the emotional roller coaster, uh, you know, sort of the true life experience. I didn't want to talk about the, as I call it, the eye fest, like, I did this, I did that. It's more about you know, what happens when you get traded or when you're aging in the game and the frustrations or tr trying to date when you're single in the game. So I want to give a real comprehensive sort of relationship side to the game. And it led to this book, and it's opportunity. So I, I ended up writing this book over about four months and you know, a lot of time editing it. And uh, you know, it's done pretty well. It's still going. We've got a paperback coming out on March 29th. And, uh, you know, very positive feedback. You know, sent it to players. and. And I'm very excited about it because I just think it, it's a little different take on uh, like a panel of the game. Yes, now where can we get the book and say the name of the book for everyone? Yeah, well the book's called The Game From Where I Stand, the subtitle The Ball Player's Inside View. And you really can get it anywhere, I mean, Amazon.com, all the normal bookstores, Barnes & Noble, Borders, and you can even go to my website which is uh, DougGlanville.com. So it's uh, available everywhere, and um, you know, I think in the spirit of what we saw tonight, it's uh, kind of in line with uh, what it what it takes to sort of endure a passion. And uh, you know, certainly, you go through a lot of things. I think everybody can relate to. Definitely. And any advice for some aspiring young players out there that want to make it to the big leagues? What's your best advice? Yeah, well, you know, you definitely follow your dream, but I also say, you know, be well rounded, enjoy a lot of things. Cause there's no rule about having one passion. You can love a lot of different things that you'll enjoy and certainly even if you have a wonderful career uh, I retired about 34 years old so I had to find that that next step and uh, and within that as in the spirit of the, the play tonight just remember where you came from your history because it's really going to be a guiding force and and uh, having that type of respect and humility for the game you know opens up a lot of doors for the future that is great and since this is a segment of kitchen chat I have to ask you what is your favorite recipe oh this is easy <laughs> French toast. I'm a breakfast person all morning. So uh, every morning get up and I'm getting my kids indoctrinated. It's, uh, it's great. It's terrific. Well, thank you everyone for joining us on Kitchen Chat. I'm Margaret McSweeney and delighted to introduce you to Doug Glanville. Please get his book. Really an inspiring one. And please come to Jackie and Me here at the Chicago's Children's Theater at the Ruth Page Center in Chicago and it runs through March 27th. A play and experience you won't forget. Thanks again and join us next time.